after months of negotiations, baseball is back. Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 74 of the Cleveland Spiders franchise here on MLB The Show 21. Yes, baseball is back, so both sides, the MLB and MLB PA, were able to agree on a new CBA, so today I'm just going to kind of let you guys know what does that mean for the rest of this season. So if you're excited for this one and you're excited for baseball to be back, make sure you drop a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. Now, both sides were able to agree on a new CBA, and that doesn't really change much for when the season starts to get back underway. Uh, there will be no Universal DH this season, so National League will have pitchers still hitting. DH would have taken into effect next season, but we're not going to do a new se next season in this franchise. Um, so what does that mean? Now, if you look on the calendar, we are still in the month of June. That's not where we are now. June was where the season ended. We are actually in mid-September, so at this point, most everybody's played about 60 games, which is ironic because that's how much the 2020 shortened season was, but most teams have played 60 games and they've both sides have agreed there's really not a way to salvage this season. So what's going to happen is since we're in mid-September, the regular season is over. So wherever the standings are currently, that's the standings for the season, and the postseason will actually start next week here on the channel so they took the standings wherever they are currently and the teams who would have made it made it and the season is over some teams missed out so let me go ahead and show you the standings you can see on the screen we are actually the AL Central leaders by half a game so we were able to hold on against the White Sox but who will be making the postseason in the AL East it'll be the New York Yankees they won the East going 34 and 27 three and a half games over the Boston Red Sox. We won the Central by half a game despite being the best team in the American League and the White Sox were a half game behind. In the West, it was the Athletics who pulled it out. They were the second best team in the American League, 35 and 26, three games over the Angels. As far as the wild card, the White Sox and the Angels made it. The Twins were a half game, followed by the Red Sox for a game and a half. And you could tell by these records, the American League wasn't as good as the National League but those are who made it in the American League. As far as the National League, when the postseason restarts, the NL East will be the New York Mets, who went 43-17, and establishing themselves as the favorites going into the postseason. The Central is the Cubs. They finished 33-26. and That is two and a half games over the St. Louis Cardinals. For the West, the Dodgers made it 37-25, and a half game over the San Diego Padres. But the Padres were able to nab a wild card spot as well as the Phillies. Now, both these teams had the same record. And usually what happens is there is a one-game playoff. Now, there will not be a one-game playoff for this postseason. Both sides have agreed that, you know, since it doesn't really fully affect, it just gives home field advantage. So what the owners association decided to vote on is whoever had the best record in the National League will get the four spot and the five spot will go to the second. And the Padres have the better record in the National League. So the Padres do get the four and the Phillies do get the five. Now the Braves, Giants, Diamondbacks, they all miss out, unfortunately, because in the American League, they all would have made the playoffs. But those will be the teams that will be representing baseball in the postseason. And well, how are we gonna do the postseason? Exactly, it's probably what you're thinking. We're still in June. How will I do the postseason? Well, I'll catch you up in one second, and I'll show you just how that's going to work. So, here we are in the postseason. This is how I've decided to move forward in the series. I went to the postseason mode and just recreated where the standings would be. So, you can see on the screen, every team is where they should be. So, the Spiders are the one seed in the American League, followed by the two-seeded Athletics, the three-seeded Yankees, the four-seeded White Sox, and the five-seeded Angels. As far as the National League, the Mets got the one seed, the Dodgers the two, the Cubs are the three, the four are the Padres, and the five are the Phillies. I have just recreated the exact same postseason. Now, some things will be different. Uh, one, the rosters will not be different, however, even though these aren't the same rosters that I started the uh, series with, I have been going into every single team that made the postseason and just be editing their rosters to who they have now. So I have changed Freddie Freeman, for example, to the White Sox. I have added our trades. Everybody 
who has their major league roster should be where they are in the series. Now, that raises a couple questions. One, injuries. How did I do injuries? Well, since it is later in the year, um, a lot of players would have came back from the injury list. Not everybody. Like, for instance, Shane Bieber will not be in the postseason for the Spiders, so we still got to deal with no Shane Bieber. But I basically said every team, or what the MLB and MLBPA will say, uh, agreed on, is that every single team gets one roster move. So if you have somebody who's coming off the injury list, you can use a roster move to fix it, but you can't take multiple people off the injury list. So if you have like two or three guys who are out, you have to pick one. It kind of adds a strategic, and it allows for these teams that actually did make the postseason to not have, be able to alter their rosters uh, fully. We actually did not make a roster move. Uh, we had Shane Bieber, but he's not going to be able to be back in time since he uh, tore his ACL. So realistically, he would not be in the postseason. So we decided to not make a roster move. Um, a lot of teams did make a roster move. Some of the players, I'll highlight the most important ones as I look at my notes. But uh, for instance, the White Sox will be getting Jose Abreu back because he was due to be off the IL in about a week. So they used their move on him. The Angels are getting back Keon Kella, who was hurt for them. And the big one, the Padres had Fernando Tatis Jr. on the injury list. So they will be getting him back. Now, not every single team will be able to get their injuries back. The Yankees had Judge out, so he's out for the season, so no Judge for them. Uh, I can't name all of them off the top of my head, but I know the Cubs were facing some injuries. The Padres had more than just Tatis, so they can't get all those players back. But I'll highlight the rosters in a future episode. That'll actually be what you guys see on Thursday as we'll do a little playoff preview as I flip my uh, notes over. Now, back to what will be different. Now, obviously, it's not in the same franchise mode, so you will notice a couple of things in the presentation that's different. Uh, the big one being no spiders, so to speak, as I put it uh, in quotations. Unfortunately, in this postseason mode, I can't add logos and stuff, so you won't be seeing the spiders C. Uh, you'll be seeing them called the Indians and stuff on the screen. I will not call them that. Uh, thankfully, you won't be seeing any Indians logos. You'll just be seeing the block C. And in order to kind of phase out the Indians, what I've decided to do is for the home games, I will wear the blue jerseys that just say Cleveland on them. And then for the road games, I'll just wear the gray road. So I know in the series, we had the white spiders at home. We had the blue Clevelands on the road. I can't recreate that fully, so it'll be the blues at home. It'll be the grays on the road. And you'll just see the block C. Hopefully that, hope that doesn't, you know, throw it off too much for you. It's just, that's all I can do in this situation. A couple of other things, stats will be off, so you won't see the realistic stats. I will keep the stats in notes, so I'll be able to present it and commentate it to you guys, let you know what everybody did in the uh, regular season to keep it uh, as up-to-date as possible. Player overalls will be different, so some of the development you've seen in the series will not uh, reflect fully. I will have the players, but I can't really, I'm not going to go in and change everybody's overalls and ratings. That'll take me days to set up and I'm not gonna do all that it's taking me a few hours already to do the rosters and have to write them down and copy them so this is taking me some work um, but I was hoping this would kind of spice up the series you know I know that it will be the show 22 is coming out in a couple months regardless of my excitement level for it um, but I did want to spice this up I knew we weren't gonna really finish the regular season on time so I decided to add a little bit of a, you know, swerve to it. I know that real life they're going through some, uh, you know, bargaining issues, so to speak. Um, so I decided to incorporate that in my series. So I hope you guys enjoy this little, you know, different take as we jump into the postseason. Uh, you know, try to make this stand out and I'll try to do something different for you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy the work that's going into this because this series even this, not including this, but everything I've done in this series as a whole has taken so much effort, and I've really been enjoying this series, and I really, you know, enjoyed the work that I've put in. I'm glad you guys in the comment section uh, will let me know as well that you guys enjoyed the series, because it has taken me a lot, and I hate that it's coming to an end because there's no year-to-year -year saves, but looks like San Diego don't really care for franchise mode, but I'm not going to dive too much into that rabbit hole. But I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys will enjoy baseball being on the series some more. The channel, we're in the postseason, so that's exciting. So we'll have to see what the Spiders can do. Can we bring a World Series to the channel? Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments section below, what do you guys think of this? Do you guys enjoy it? Is this something that's um, kind of refreshing, or do you would you have rather just stick to the regular season? I do want to know your honest comments. But I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe down below as well, especially if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob.
and I'll see you in the next one.